So, uh, gentlemen, here we go. First one up. Mostly team predictions, but we have some individual predictions. Goals. How many goals will Chelsea Football Club score in the Premier League, and who will be the top three scores? We did this last season. And as a nice little reminder, Dan even put in there, we scored 69 goals last year. Tammy, William, and Christian Pulisic were our top three goal scorers. One of them is no longer here, so you're going to be forced to diversify. Nick, how many total goals? And give me your top three. All right, so I'm going to go with 79 goals. Ten more goals. It's quite a you know, look, ten more goals in a season over season, not bad. I'm going with Timo Werner, one Christian Pulisic, and Tammy Abraham in that order. Um, I think it's going to be a, a season full of goals, and we'll see how it goes on the other end. <laughs> Damn. You got Tammy in third behind a winger who's American? Will, just trying to trying to understand how many minutes Tammy will play. I do think he'll score when he's in there. Okay. Dan, um, I think we'll go ahead and let you ruffle some feathers. Well, I think we are going to score a lot more than we did last season. And it's just going to be natural when we're running games 5-3 all the time. It's going to just be how we have to do it. <laughs> so Ugh. in that sense, I think we'll actually score above 80. I think we're actually going to score 85 goals this season. Oh. And I think it's going to come primarily from a one team of Werner but supported by Christian Pulisic and Kai Havertz. It is the Bundesliga crew that have made their way to the Premier League and are going to just absolutely torch defenses. So last year, you were big on the Cobham crew. So now you're going oh, yeah. Bundesliga crew. This is your new theme? Well, I just, it, maybe. Maybe it is. I don't know. We'll Where's find Rüdiger? out. Maybe he's smashing a bunch of headers. <laughs> Uh, he's he's uh, he's still culpable for his own goals from last season. I don't think it's so he's in a negative hole. <laughs> fair, fair. I split the diff on this one. Uh, diff being short for difference with 82. <laughs> All right. Werner, Tammy, and Pulisic in said order. I think Frank is going to play Werner and Tammy a lot, either split time together. I think he's going to find some creative ways for those two to, to that Tammy doesn't get like left behind quote unquote. So I'm thinking that Tammy is also going to step up his game, uh, find either coming on late, find a way. So that's kind of my, my faith that I'm going to put into that. I mean, Olivia Giroux, no one had, you know, which is kind of interesting. Mason Mount pegged a few in last season, but nothing, nothing for him either. And Golo Conte somehow didn't make this list. I find that to be he, shameful. He's more of a care about FA Cup kind of goal scorer. Now, I, what I want to do is a slight addendum to this question. I want to know how many goals your top scorer has. Because uh, we all got, picked Timo. We all picked well, Timo. That, that, so. that's, that's, that's oh, I was going to say, that's in our, our second episode for like oh, right. Golden Boot and stuff. And <laughs> Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. you picked him for the golden... Jesus, Dan. Well, spoiler. <laughs> the so, next one, uh, we went from goal scored to the the step leading up to said goal, and that is assists, total team, and top three. And I swear, Nick, if you don't do it, the, you're fired. We literally are going to kick you off the show because of how much of a ruckus you make about this man and his nickname. With 19 assists for the season, Cesar assists Pilaqueta will be. I'm kidding. Uh, I have, I do have him in my three. I have uh, Kai Havertz, Hakim Ziyech, and assists Pilaqueta in that order. I think those are our three top assisters. Going to be a delight. I'm just going to change up my answers real quick because I forgot about Hakim Ziyech. So I'm going to go 65 assists. <laughs> Uh, with Ziyech, and then I think Chilwell and Reese James are going to be assist masters. I think whoever's Ooh. our outside backs are going to be bombing. These are going to be bomber backs under Frank this season. All right, We're not playing defense, all right? We're trying to score goals, and it's going to be very Liverpool-esque. Dan, uh, you are going yet again with the most of an attacking category. Well, to be fair, if I'm also predicting that we're going to have the most goals, I'm probably going to predict a fair number more assists. So uh, not by much, though, because I only went one above one Brandon Busby at 66 total assists, though I do think there is a theme emerging where Ziyech is in all three of ours 
because of just that amazing bit, that one little tantalizing bit of ball that he was able to put right into Kellen Hudson Doy's head in the preseason match against Brighton. I think we're going to see that a lot leading up to some goals from maybe a one Christian Pulisic running in off the left wing. That will be a tasty delight, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I think the other two individuals are going to be Mason Mount and Kai Havertz as providing kind of that ball, that through ball to play in Christian, to play in Ziyech, to, you know, it, I mean, there's there's going to be so much movement across that front four. There, there's going to be a lot, there's going to be a lot served up on this, on a platter. It's going to be delicious. A quick note that I, I had 58 assists total for me. I had a lower goal, goal tally, so just well, I mean, 58 you're, assists. You're, you're going to be wrong, so I'm not sure why you need to go back and let people know that fact. Well, I mean, everyone else is saying their total, so, you know, 50 I'm, I mean, is what I look, got. I'm surprised that uh, you guys have Aritz. Brandon's doing, he's a Brandon's goal doing scorer. math on his abacus right now, just trying he's to figure out. He's not an assister. You guys are so silly. Like, RIP that prediction. Uh, next one is goals allowed. Very quickly, we're going from offense to defense in this one. How many will Chelsea ship this season? Uh, and if you're new to the Premier League, that means concede, give up. Uh, let fly in past our floppable <laughs> goalkeeper. Uh, I or last season we had fifty four goals conceded. That was the worst record in the top ten teams of the Premier League, which is an amazing fact since we got top four mm. somehow. Uh, so I don't think that everything is going to be solved just with one Ben Chilwell and Thiago Silva. So, but I think that the amount of goals that we're going to score and the amount of kind of pressing that we'll do on teams, they will be less likely to score. So I'm going to go with a decrease of nine to 45 goals conceded. Uh, Dan, Mr. Extreme, one way or the other, (laughs) you're always the minimum of the maximum. Only know two modes, Brandon. That's off or on. And I am on for the decrease here. I think it's... Especially if we bring in another keeper. I think that's the main caveat. I think it's going to happen. Uh, we're recording this on the Sunday uh, ahead of the, you know, basically the week before the Premier League restarts. And if we sign a keeper, I think that we shipped 9 to 12 that were just beyond the mean of like where a traditional Premier League goalkeeper was. So if we just take that as a baseline, we're going to put ourselves in a much better position. So any average goalkeeper moves us to a better spot, and I'm just going to go with that. Hmm. Nick, you're going to split the diff, as one might say, or are you going to be a pessimist? Do you remember when you used to yell at me for saying goal diff, and now you're just saying diff on its yeah. own? <laughs> it's kind of a mocking thing. What's hmm. the diff? Now I get it. Um I still think we're going to be relatively bad in defense. <laughs> um, now, it, look, my prediction could be totally upturned if we if, if our goalkeeper has an above average Premier League season, right? Um, I'm I'm only seeing Keppa and Willie on the roster as it stands as we're making these predictions. So I'm going slightly down, only six goals down to 48 goals conceded. Uh, it, I've been I've been thinking about Tiago Silva a lot, and if we play a high line, I think that's not necessarily going to be the best recipe for him. So we'll uh, we'll just have to kind of see how the how the team is. Although Chilwell should improve. I mean, you you potentially have a brand new, you know, if we bring in another center back candidate, if you get someone like Rice in there, you know, Zuma obviously is you know next to a Tiago Silva is going to be an exciting prospect. Reese James potentially taking the next step up. Has P being pushed by Reese James to level up his game as well? Like, I just, I think in general, the defense is going to have to be just better by the necessity of adding people and who isn't playing, right? Because if you bring in Thiago Silva and Zuma, you're not playing Christensen, you're not playing Rudiger as regularly. And those were two of kind of some of the, if we're pointing fingers, had issues or problems in our defensive setup last season. And so if we're taking out the addition with, with because of subtraction, I think it's going to naturally put us in a position, Brandon, where the defense is just going to have to be just even minuscule better. Yeah, again, but it's it's a <laughs> leaky situation. So for me, it's kind of like it, it will slash should get better, but it doesn't mean it's going to be 
significantly better in that sense. But I look, I definitely think that there's probably one more signing defensively that Frank's looking to make, whether that's CDM, center back, uh, or goalkeeper. Those are really the only places he has yet to touch. 